The local business community is pleased about a number of the measures and initiatives recently announced by Prime Minister Mia Amor Motley to help stimulate businesses of all sizes. Some of those measures included the payment of outstanding value-added tax refunds. Chairman of the Barbados Private Sector Association, Edward Clark, says the measures will be important for the many businesses still trying to deal with the financial challenges caused by COVID-19. From the business sector, I would say that the, the businesses, the employers are quite happy, the businesses are quite happy, large and small, to get their refunds for VAT, that are the old arrears refunds that were out for quite a while, personal income tax refunds also for many individuals. People are looking forward to them. And also the assistance on the, the VAT payables over the, over the next six months. That soft loan um, from the government is, is essential to help those people who are still going through cash flow problems. He adds that the incentives for small businesses will also provide an important boost. Funding for the Small Business Association, the small and micro businesses in Barbados, that $20 million, is very welcome at this time to raise support uh, funding because many of these businesses are. are, are have been many of them have been closed for the last six weeks no cash flow whatsoever coming in and a large number of them have been very badly impacted by the, the tourism closure as well as you can imagine so all these things would help people keep some of their staff employed even if not all and generate some some cash flow for them to be able to to get back out there and get back to business because it has been very very difficult in the last six weeks for many many small businesses in Barbados especially Local small business owners who operate in an online environment have been encouraged to pay attention to the importance of cybersecurity. This was one of the takeaways for members of the Barbados Small Business Association following a webinar on the topic, The New Normal, the Advent of E-Business. The Flow Business-sponsored session was addressed by the Assistant Manager in Risk Advisory at Deloitte, Dwight Robinson, who revealed that prior to the COVID-19 outbreak, only 27% of global businesses worked remotely. But as of March 31st, more than 60% of businesses across the globe now operate from home. He says this increase in remote work would also cause an exponential rise in cybersecurity attacks, as most businesses were not adequately prepared for this shift. And it's time now to take a look at how those stocks traded on selected exchanges throughout our region. First up in Jamaica, Trans Jamaican Highway Limited was the volume needer with 3,284,711 units at $1.38 each. And they were followed by Sagicor's Let Funds Limited Financial and Wigtum Wind Farm Limited Ordinary Shares. In Trinidad and Tobago, Massey Holdings Limited was the volume leader with 23,051 shares changing hands for a value of $1,152,630.60 and they were followed by Trinidad and Tobago NGL Limited and Trinidad Cement Limited. And right here in Barbados, Epley Caribbean Property Fund SCC Value Fund was the sole security, trading 737 shares at 58 cents each.